What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? A white woman kidnaps, tortures a black man. A date from hell. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. A white female kidnaps, duct tapes, and stabs a black male during a Tinder date. Let's put a picture up full throttle here. All right. She could be incarcerated right now for murder. Let me give you the background as to what happened. According to the police, Colorado, a Colorado woman decided to duct tape, stab a 21 year old black male Tinder date. She orders DoorDash while he bled. The victim barely escaped with his life. The officers arrested Lauren Marie Dooley and charged her with a second degree kidnapping, a class three felony, two counts of assault in the second degree, a class four felony, menacing, a class five felony, and false imprisonment, a class two misdemeanor. According to WKRC, Dooley appeared in an El Paso County court on Thursday, October 6th. I have significant background to this extreme story. The victim was 21 years of age, a black male who met his attacker on the popular dating app. A Colorado woman has now been charged with multiple felonies after she allegedly brutally assaulted her Tinder date. The 22 year old is accused of stripping him naked, duct taping him, choking him and slicing him up with a knife before she ordered something to eat on DoorDash. The victim took advantage of an opportunity to plot his escape and lived to tell the tale. The person told the dispatcher, he or she could hear someone saying, because you cut me and you're going to kill me and said he was bleeding all over the bed. They wrote upon arrival, Residents at the apartment advised there was a naked male in the parking lot. This is when he escaped. They needed help. Officers located, and we've redacted his name, who was naked and appeared to be bleeding from a laceration on his left arm. Name redacted, also actively backing away from the suspect, identified via a law enforcement database as Lauren Dooley, date of birth, 6-2-2000 who appear to have blood smeared on her arms and hands. I already know some people are going to ask and push back on why did I redact and why have I not proposed the individual's name who's a victim. Here's why, because he's also a victim of sexual assault. I don't give a damn what the charges say. If this was a female in the same position, I would do the exact same thing. Even though she is not charged with sexual assault, this is a sexual assault case in my opinion. So I would treat it as such on this broadcast. There's more information. The report continued, name redacted, exclaimed that Lauren tied him up and cut him. Lauren was detained, but invoked her Miranda rights and refused to speak with me. The officer said the young man did not know the young woman for long, but still went to her house. There's more. They sat on Lauren's couch and talked a bit. Lauren then proceeded to take clothing off and perform oral sex on him, according to the report. She then used duct tape to bind him, name redacted, wrist together and ankles together. The man said that despite finding it odd, he still consented. Now, let me just pause right here, okay? This is your first time meeting somebody. This is already a weird situation. I'm saying this as a public service announcement to anyone who has their first encounter with somebody, please, for the sake of all things holy. Do not allow them to completely make you vulnerable to attack, okay? If you get down like that, you get down like that, I have no issue with that. But damn it, at least know who the person is. This situation happened. This man is now completely vulnerable to whatever attack she decided to bring to him. And that's exactly what she did. Uh, it can't be that serious, fellas, is my point, all right? Um, however, when Lauren produced a knife and demanded he gets into her bedroom, he no longer consented to saying 
to staying at the residence. That's when it became a sexual assault. Okay, this is when it goes into this level because he was afraid he got into her bed and let her climb on top of him. She then proceeded to use the knife to cut his left shoulder and then use both hands to apply direct pressure to his throat for roughly 20 seconds, making it difficult for him to breathe. Lauren stopped, but only to procure a belt that she then placed around the young black male's neck. The second half of the affidavit, let's put it up, because I want you to know we have the full affidavit here of everything that has been highlighted highlighted in evidence and testimony. Dooley then tells the victim to get into the bathtub and bathe, okay? While he was in the tub, she ordered food on DoorDash. Once her order came before he opened the door, she turned to her date and said, if you scream or say anything, I'll kill you. After eating the food, she took her date, quote unquote, and went back into her bed covering him with a blanket. As the young man gets into the bed with her, he notices the knife she used to stab him is underneath the cover near his feet. At some point, Dooley falls asleep. And then he grabs the knife and attempts to free himself, cutting the duct tape. She falls asleep because uh, torture is exhausting. She ate DoorDash, she's torturing, she falls asleep. Once free, he tried to get his keys and his phone to get out of the apartment, but accidentally bumped into a table. The noise from the bump Woke Dooley up, but the victim did not stop to engage her. He ran into the parking lot, demanded help, and was met by police officers. He had no clothes on during this time. This is a hell of a story. So obviously, this story is still developing. She invoked her Miranda rights. She is not talking. We have no statement on the record from why this person did this monstrous thing according to the allegation. But please, please, everyone, let this serve as a reminder. You can't simply go head first into everybody's home and trust them without some level of fence or barrier around that relationship. People should earn that level of trust. Now, I know some people will make jokes about this segment. Some people will talk about how he liked it at first and whatever. Let's be 100, you won't like to be in this situation. You don't want your children to be in this situation. People that you love, you won't want them to be in this situation. It's a bad situation. So we're gonna highlight this story, stay on top of it. And hopefully at some point we'll understand the motive behind this extreme behavior of this criminal who kidnapped a human being and damn near killed him. Drivers, I just don't know what I just heard, but whatever it was, this was a good ass movie. This really was, this was a good ass movie. Drivers, let me know what you think about this in the comments below, man. Yo, old boy got kidnapped, got stabbed. He broke out of his handcuffs or his shackles or duct tape or whatever. Got outside, butt booty naked, waved somebody down and said that he was kidnapped, tortured by a by what looks like a petite white lady. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to stay on this for too long because my man just went into it. But I, I just think that this is a movie. Look, amateur filmmakers, I want you guys to take this right here and make it into a, a YouTube movie or whatever the case. Because that's exactly what this is. Because I, I cannot believe it. I, I I just, it, it boggles the mind that I find this real hard to believe. Hold on. I got another one for you. It's on the flip side, right? Young man was just tortured, kidnapped, and damn near murdered. But we got a female in this clip right here. She talks about her hinge date coming over to her house. And she got robbed. No more wasting time. Let's get it. It's gonna be hard. 
but um, take your time. Take I was your time. Involved by someone that I trusted mm. that I had met on him the dating app. Right. We've only known each other for like twelve days. Yes, mm-hmm. I know I'm an idiot for twelve days. Man that I didn't go to my house multiple times overall in the last a week and a half. Mm-hmm. I trusted him, although um, there were a lot of red flags. So many that. I can't, I can't even count. count. No. And you still he trusted him. He was super lovey dovey and kind, be nice, you know, the whole, yeah. Mm. And I was very trusting and too nice. That's. And he that could get you killed sometimes. Someone I thought that actually liked me. And we actually started, well, we're pretty much official um, two days ago, I'm assuming now. We're not. Um, I've, mm-hmm. I've called him. I've FaceTimed him. I've tried to text him. Nothing. I've tried all day. Um, not all day, just for a few hours. I tried him on other phone and other numbers. Nothing. He ghosted you. I DM'd him on Instagram. Nothing. I'm going to show you a picture of him. He's in Dallas. So you guys know who he is. And ladies, beware. I think he does this. Maybe on regular. I'm not sure. Mm. This is the first picture of him. He has a okay. tattoo on his neck and tattoos on his arm. Another okay. angle. This is his dating profile on Hinge. Yo, yo, average everyday Ladies, dude. Him, Just don't mess with him. So I don't understand why you didn't see the red flags and all of that. Twelve days? I mean, I hey, I I've seen Stranger Things. I I really have seen a lot of Stranger Things in dating. You know, I've seen somebody get married in twelve days. I've seen somebody. I seen somebody fall in love in the minute. He came over, clapped them cheeks, and stole whatever he needed to take from you. And he was done with you. Finito. Ghost. He ain't need to mess with you no more. What what did he take? Did he take jewelry? Did he take money? What what did he take? But after the first phone call, you didn't get an answer. That should have told you something right there. The third, fourth, and then you try to find them on social media, still nothing ghost? Nah, no, 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 no. But, I mean, the dude, everyday, you know, everyday looking kind of guy, you know, it is what it is. But hopefully you'll learn from this, you know. But, look, moral of the story is, do not go over nobody's house that you're not familiar with. If you want to go ahead and get them cheeks clapping, do it at a hotel. Same thing for the ladies. Don't bring nobody over at the house that you don't know. And guys, uh, look, I understand you thinking with your little head, but you might want to think with your big head on some situations. And going over a, a female's house that you just met on a Tinder date, that's something that you might not want to do. Drivers, let me know what your thoughts about this in the comments below. Big G's got it